In this tutorial, in Photoshop Elements 2020, we're going to show you a simple technique for creating a lower third banner that contains a title that you could use in any video editing project. We're going to start by clicking on the File menu in the upper left corner, and then we'll click New and choose Blank File. Here we're going to set the height and width of our file in pixels. I'm going to start with 900 and 100. I want to make sure that my background contents is marked as transparent. And then we'll click the OK button in the pop-up menu. So now I have my banner. We're going to put a background on it, so I need to pick a color. I can click anything on the color palette in the lower left. Let's take something in the red area. and click OK. Now we're going to click on the Paint Bucket tool on the left side and we'll fill the background with that color. The next thing I want to do is pick another color because I'm going to cut some of this out and so we can pick any color that's not red. I'll pick something in the green spectrum. This will basically be a throwaway. And then I'll take my Rectangle tool and we'll draw with that. Before we do that I want to change the View menu to zoom out. Now I'll draw a rectangle using the green color. Having clicked on the rectangle tool, we'll just draw something like a square. And then we'll select it and rotate it about 45 degrees. Now I'm going to move it so it cuts off the very end of my object. Now we're going to select both objects in the layer area on the right. Right click and choose Merge Layers. Now I have both layers together. Now I'm going to take my Magic Wand tool and click on the green area and press the Delete key on the keyboard. So now I have my banner. It's not perfectly rectangular and that's just what I wanted. The next step is to add text. So I'm going to click on my color palette again and we'll go to a white text. The easiest way to make white is to replace the letters at the bottom with F's and click OK. Now I'll click on the text tool and we'll have some text. This is sample text. And I'll click on the arrow to select it. We'll move it down. You can either use the arrow keys or the mouse, whichever works better. And now I'd like to enhance it a bit. I'll right click on it and choose Edit Layer Style. We'll add a bevel to it. And we'll also add a stroke or outline to it. And click on OK. If I want to change any other features about the text, I can double click on it. We can make it larger or smaller. Let me, let me make it about 85. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to save it. I'll do File, Save. We'll just call this, instead of Untitled 1, we'll call this My Test. And we'll save it as a PSD. Now what this allows me to do is if I like the look and feel of the banner and the text, saving it as a PSD will allow me to go into this object later in Photoshop Elements and simply change the text and keep the banner. So I can use this for multiple texts with the same banner. But to actually save it to use it in the project, I'll save it again. I'll do File, Save As. I'll call it My Test. I could call it Banner 1, but I want to save it as a PNG, which will preserve the transparent area on the left. And click on Save. And OK. Now I have my banner. I'm going to close the screen. And then we'll double click on the actual banner. And this is what it will look like on a white background. We can take this and use this or anything like it in a video project that we're editing. We'll show you a sample of something like that.
That's how easy it is to create an object of this nature in Photoshop Elements 2020.